Hey guys, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing good. Um, hope everybody enjoyed my last upload of Juggling Josh at JuggleFest in Austin. Um, originally what I had planned for my latest upload was going to be other performers at JuggleFest as well as a vlog of the day with my friend. But that has kind of been put on the back burner, as you can tell by the title of this video. A couple of days after Juggle Fest, I had what was supposed to be a routine eye appointment. And at that appointment, I learned that I would be having to undergo eye surgery to have my left eye removed. Now to give you a bit of a backstory into my particular eye disease, I was born three months premature, 32 years ago, and I have eye disease retinopathy prematurity, and that causes uh, retinal detachments. Um, when I was two years old, my retina in my left eye became detached, um, so much so that I'd have a buckle put in to reattach it. Um, unfortunately, I did not regain any vision in that eye at all, with the exception of light perception. Now, my right eye, the vision in that eye, did remain stable and has remained stable for the most part. I did have a couple of minor retina detachments when I was a teenager, but those were caught early enough to where it didn't really change my vision all that much. But back to my left eye, um, about five years ago in 2012, my pressure in that eye, we noticed it was decreasing. And, um, eventually it got to where there was no pres pressure in that eye anymore. I came back with a reading of zero. And so my retina specialist said, okay, you know, your eye is now officially dead. So now the overall goal is to try and keep it pain-free. And... The ultimate goal, obviously, is to do that, and if you ever have any problems, you may have to look into the avenue of r removal, but we're not going to discuss any of that yet. Unfortunately, as the years have gone on, I have had several complications, because whenever your eye is dead, it tends to soften and shrink, which is very common. And um, I can't even tell you how many times I've accidentally scratched it just because it is so sensitive. Or I've even developed an additional condition called um, band keratopathy, which is calcification of the cornea. And that is what became the most painful and ultimately uh, has led me to have to go ahead and have the eye eviscerated. I'm undergoing an eye evisceration, which I'll have the description in the description, this particular type of eye removal. Uh, just forewarning, there are images in there of this, but um, it'll explain all that. But um, with the band keratopathy, like the entire white of my eye will just be solid red, like red as a Sharpie. And it is excruciatingly painful. And even with the eye drops that were prescribed to me, uh, they've gotten to the point now where they no longer are of benefit as far as the pain level. So at this last appointment, whenever my eye doctor was asking how I was doing and I let him know that I was having a lot more difficulty as far as pain management and the drops no longer really helping, he was like, okay, we need to have a discussion. Are you ready to go ahead and pursue a, a removal? 
but even though we had discussed everything it was just like okay once it was it became real it was like okay can I take it back now <laughs> but I know in the long run this is going to be beneficial um, I know it's hard to tell because I'm recording this on a camera phone um, but I've never had the symmetry with my eyes I know a prosthesis is going to offer that when I'm eventually recovered and fitted for the prosthesis so I'm looking forward to that and like I said you know I'm not going to be missing much because I've never had any usable vision out of that eye anyway and my right eye is still very stable so I'm going into this thinking as positive as I possibly can be um you're probably watching this on the day of my surgery which is March 14th 2017 when this video is uploaded so just keep me in your thoughts and prayers and I will catch you guys later bye